So it's your first time traveling out of Nigeria and you're wondering, oh my goodness, where do I even go? What, what do I need to carry with me? As in, what is security? What is boarding pass? Like, I don't even understand what's happening at this airport. If that is you and you have any fear, anxiety about first time traveling and you want to know how exactly, what exactly are you to expect, this video is for you. Hi guys, many of you guys have been sending me like DMs, messages and emails asking me for a very long time to do a detailed video for a first time traveler traveling out of Muritla Mohamed Airport in Lagos, Nigeria for the first time. So even though this video is going to be very detailed, I feel like even if you've traveled to that airport before, it might be very useful for you to watch this video again. For first time travelers, I understand that traveling can be scary, like you don't know where to go, you don't know who to speak to. You might think somebody wants to scam you. How do you know who's who and what's what? This video is all to help you. Before I go on, first of all, welcome to my channel for all you new bees out there. My name is Sassy Funke and I'm an Nigerian travel and lifestyle content creator. On my channel, you're gonna find a lot of travel vlogs, travel reviews, travel tips, anything related to travel and helping the average traveler to have a better experience. It's all on here. So I really hope that you subscribe if any of that is of interest to you and click that big red button down below, subscribe, and also hit the bell notification button right beside it. This actually ensures that you never miss my content and also ensures that you are always the first to get my content. Please do subscribe and hit that bell notification button. To help you understand all the different steps, I'm going to divide this video up into different sections. The first section will be focused on a few days before traveling, 24 hours before traveling, arriving at the airport, checking in, departure and security, waiting to board and once you're on the plane. I'm also going to leave a timestamp so that you can easily go through each different section in the description box. So, you so the first section, few days before flying. Few days before flying, I will suggest you pack and don't wait till the last minutes before you pack your luggage. And I think it's important also to write a list down of all the items you think you're gonna need. And as you're packing, you're taking up every single item. This ensures that you don't actually panic or feel scared before you get on your plane. You know you're all ready and everything is good. I will also advise that you tag your luggage. What does that mean? That you put a label on your luggage with your name and also your email address and your phone number. It's very important you do this just in case that the airline misplaces your luggage and you're looking for it, it can easily be found. So this is extremely important. I will also say that you should make sure that only you pack your luggage. Like anything in your suitcase, you should know exactly what it is. If anybody gives you anything and it's folded up, unwrap it and check exactly what it is. This is very important because if for any reason you're caught on the flight carrying something that is contraband, you're going to be liable. No one's going to say, oh, it's somebody that gave me something to carry. You need to know every single thing that is in your luggage. Yes. I think finally, a few days before flying, it's important that you actually confirm what exactly is your luggage allowance? It's important to know this because different airlines have different allowances and also different ticket categories, right? Classes have different allowances. So if you have an economy ticket and you have a business class ticket, the amount of baggage that you can carry on the plane is very different. So make sure you check with your airline or check on your ticket invoice. It will tell you this before you pack. So you know you're packing within your luggage allowance. 24 hours before flying. Check-in online. Some airlines actually allow you to check in 24 hours before. What does that mean? Check-in basically means you informing the airline that 100% you are going to be on that flight. This is really important in cases whereby maybe an airline has an oversold ticket, right? So if you check in first, it basically confirms that you're definitely going to have a seat. If you haven't checked in online, don't worry too much about it. For international flights leaving from Murtala Mohamed Airport, I would suggest that you actually get to the airport three to four hours before your flight time. So if your flight time, for example, is at 11 p.m., I would suggest you actually get to the airport for around seven, 
maybe it but also factor in the fact that there might be a lot of traffic on your way to the airport you want to make sure you are inside that airport i would say four hours before your flight make sure your taxi driver or whoever is dropping you at the airport actually drops you at the departures section of the airport not the arrival the departures on entry into the airport a security um, personnel might ask to actually see your ticket the reason why they're asking to see your ticket is just so that they can confirm that you are flying and they don't want hooligans or random people on the street to just enter the airport make sure you collect your ticket back from them you're going to be met with a screening machine for your luggage and for yourself you have to then place your luggage onto the screening machines and also pass through the screening machine yourself and at the end pick up your luggage checking in once you get through the initial security at the entrance of the airport you can ask somebody around where exactly is your own airlines check-in desk so if it's klm ask them please where is where can i check in for klm or where can i check in for virgin or where can i check in for awa just ask somebody and they will tell you exactly where to go once you get to your airline check-in desk ask an official of your airline that is probably going to be standing around where exactly you should queue based on your ticket type some tickets have economy on them some have premium economy depending on which airline you're flying and some have business depending on which ticket you buy depending on which line you queue on the business line tends to be the shorter line and quicker line if you're not a business class passenger you cannot go on that line you have to queue up in economy An official of the airline at this stage may actually request to actually weigh your suitcase just to ensure that you are within limits of your allowance and once they've done this you go back to the queue. Once you get to the front of the queue and you're actually at the check-in desk of the airline, an official there will request from you your passport and your ticket. They will check your passport to ensure that you have the proper documents to fly, whether that being a visa, whether that being a valid passport. They will also then verify your ticket. The agent will then take your bags and check it in for you. So this is only your check-in luggage. Any luggage that you have with you that you want to carry with you during the flight you do not give it to the agent you just give them the check-in luggage they will check it in for you what does that mean they will make sure that the luggage gets into the plane secure so at this stage you don't have to worry about your luggage anymore they will then check you in and issue you with a boarding pass what is a boarding pass a boarding pass is a document that is provided by an airline during check-in and it gives the passenger unrestricted access to a part of the airport and gives them the right to actually board their flights. The agent at the airport will also give you what is a departure card. It's typically a yellow card, but it might be white. And what you have to do once you've left the check-in area is to fill out this card because you will need to take it towards security. Once you leave the check-in desk, fill in your departure card and follow the signs towards departures and security. Arrive at departures. An official is going to ask just to see your passport very quickly and to see your ticket. And it should take a few seconds. And once that's okay, they will let you through. Once you pass the desk, you are going to see a queue to Nigerian immigration. For the official at Nigerian immigration will ask you for your passport, your boarding pass, and your departure card that you just filled out. They may also ask you some questions as to where are you going, why are you going, just to ensure that you know you're not trying to do anything dodgy. Just be calm and answer the questions as truthfully as you can. After they stamp your passport, they're going to give it back to you and all your documents back to you except for the departure card which they're going to keep for their own records. You will then meet a screener. So what you do now is to Take all your hand luggage, your passport, your documents, everything that is loose on you into some bins that will now go through the screener. You yourself would then now have to go through a screener yourself. If either the screening machine or the screener that's screening your luggage and your hand luggage detects anything unusual, someone might actually come to you to actually pat you down. Yes, and touch you, but not indecently, just to make sure that you don't have any objects on you that is illegal to take on the plane. Once you pass this screening section, 
you will now have entered the departure terminal at the airport. Check your boarding pass. It's going to show you exactly where your departure gate is. So if it's gate 53, 49, it's going to tell you exactly where. And there's going to be signage all across the airport to let you know where exactly it is. The airport also has a lot of large screen, TV screens all across the airport. And it's really good to keep watch on these TV screens because sometimes your gate number might change. So the best way to get information for that change is to look at the screens. Once you get to your gate, you're going to be asked again for your boarding pass and passport very quickly. And once that is fine, you're going to be subjected again to another search whereby they're going to search your hand luggage again and they're also going to pat you down to make sure you have nothing on you. At this point, you'll have entered a separate section of the airport whereby you, are, you can now go back again to wait at the departure terminal. So when you get to this section, the boarding attendant, when it's time to board the plane, will now start calling out row numbers like row 13 to 29. And all you have to do is check on your boarding pass to see which number you are. And if your number is within the category of what the boarding attendant has called out, feel free to get up, give her your ticket and board the flight. So now to the final section of this amazing sort of walkthrough of first timers in Mutala Marine International Airport when you are on the plane. When you get on the plane, look at your boarding pass again to know exactly what your seat number is, whether it is 32F, 29A. And as you're walking through the plane, you're going to see labels all around showing the different numbers and they're consecutive so they get larger as you walk through the plane. Check for your seat number and go and sit on your seat. Note that this is not public transportation. You actually have to sit on the seat that has been assigned to you. You cannot go to someone else's seat at all. And if you're finding it hard to find your seat or locate your seat, speak to a flight attendant. And I'm sure there's going to be so many of them around who can actually help you to find your seat. Keep your luggage either in the overhead bin above your seat or below the seat in front of you. I would advise that if it's something that you need during the course of your flight, like your medicines or snacks that you might have bought on the flight or anything you need during the flight, I would suggest that you actually put it below your seat. But if it's something that you don't necessarily need, I would advise that you put it in the overhead bins. Make sure that you keep the aisle clear because a lot of people are going to be trying to board. So once you've located your seat, try and sit comfortably in the seat and not wait around the aisle. Before the plane takes off, make sure you actually buckle the seat belt so that you're secure on your flight. So the flight crew will actually walk you through the rest of the process of your flight from safety briefing to information that you may need during the course of the flight. If for any reason you have any questions and you feel uncomfortable during your flight, make sure to actually reach out to a flight attendant who will be extremely happy to help you. So guys, that is the end of my video for first time travelers traveling for the first time out of Nigeria. I really hope the information has been very useful. If there is anything I may have missed out, please, please, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really lets me know that you've enjoyed it. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.